The news summary, good evening. Ten suspects have appeared before the magistrate's courts this afternoon following a series of incidents on uh, Perseverance Island last night. And this afternoon, the police provided details of the incident in a press conference. According to the police, clashes between some locals started a few days ago, but it was not until last night that the situation worsened. During a press conference today, Superintendent of Police Antoine Denou said that there are cases where stones and even Molotov cocktails have been thrown. And in another part of Perseverance Island, people were fighting against each other. Some people were injured and taken to hospital. The police say that in the face of this situation, they had to mobilize the police and were able to restore order. But uh, Superintendent Denou said police continued to monitor the situation at uh, Perseverance. And this afternoon, police announced in a statement that uh, the 10 suspects arrested following the incidents last night appeared before the magistrate's court at noon. The 10 suspects were remanded in custody until Wednesday, the 20th of October. The three teenagers arrested are 17 years old. There are also six men between the ages of 19 and 40 and a woman of 48. Apex, a company based at Bois du Rose, has launched a recall for a certain quantity of Sears apple juice sold in 200 milliliter packets after it was found to be contaminated with a mold called patoline. This has been confirmed by Pioneer Foods, the manufacturer for the brand in South Africa, which has launched an investigation. The Food Control Unit at the Ministry of Health has welcomed the decision taken by Apex on the health and well-being of consumers and says it is monitoring the situation. This is a situation that we are concerned about, obviously, because uh, we are here to protect the public health. Um, and uh, any product that doesn't meet a certain standard or requirements, we, we are concerned. And we are here to back them up to make sure that everything goes according to how it's supposed to. And once all the products are recalled, we will uh, be doing the destruction like um, uh, at the disposal at the landfill. And then from there, we will follow the normal procedure. It, it will affect their health if ever they, they consume those that are... are are not according to standard. We are advising the members of the public and uh, retailers um, to just uh, double check the, the expiry date and the um, batch numbers that has already been published by the company just to make sure whatever they have at their homes or in the shop is not the contaminated batch. And if it is, please advise our office or, APEC or the company. The aspiration for the future is to increase capacity and capability of Seychelles to increase the production of food items that can be produced here. This is part of the vision to transform the agricultural production system so as to reach a higher level of food security and reduce dependency on importation. These points are amongst the highlights of the statement made by Agriculture, Climate Change and Environment Minister Flavia Joubert in the National Assembly yesterday to commemorate World Food Day this coming Saturday. The plans and targets of the statement are in a report on the country's food production system that Seychelles presented in the UN Food Summit uh, recently and also to the Cabinet of Ministers. The Chief Commissioner and Commissioners of the Access to Information Commission will now be able to carry out other work for remuneration while the, they occupy their respective functions. This came after the National Assembly removed the restrictions which prevented them from performing these other paid jobs. The National Assembly approved an amendment to the law on access to information which was presented by Vice President Ahmed Afif yesterday. Today. Vice President Afif says it uh, was the Constitutional Appointments Authority, CAA, that proposed removing the restrictions. 
President Wefa Ramkalawan has sent a message of congratulations to Mr. Alexander Schallenberg on his appointment as Chancellor of the Republic of Austria. In his message, the Seychelles head of state said that the Seychelles and Austria share a strong friendship and that he attaches great importance to the cooperation between the two countries. Following his visit to Austria earlier this year, President Ramkalawan reaffirmed his and the Seychelles' government's commitment towards strengthening the ties between the two nations. President uh, Rufal Ramkalawan ended his message by wishing Mr. Schallenberg success and wisdom in his responsibilities. And that's it for the news summary. We'll be back at 8 for the Creole News Bulletin. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.